All right, what's up, YouTube? In this week's Off the Mats, I got another great product review for you with a very special guest, Prince Bell, coming up right after this. All right, YouTube, so I said that I got another great product review for you. Uh, one of the things that I'm striving to do with my product reviews is I only want to re uh, recommend products to you or I only want to bring you products that I think are good products. Uh, so no, like no negative product reviews. Uh, now I, I like the Zems. I got the split toe Zems. I'm going to do a review on those coming up at some point. But Prince out here from Tennessee, we were doing a little Kung Fu workshop uh, with my Sifu. And uh, I noticed the other day when we were out doing some stuff that uh, he was wearing the, the Minimus, which is another minimal or another barefoot shoe. So I thought that I would ask Prince to come on, uh, come on the channel, give us a review what he thinks about the Minimus. So I'll let, I'll let you take it over from here. All right. Thanks, Ash. Um, well, you might want to cover your nose. So I'm, uh, this is like the latest. <laughs> this is the latest pair of uh, New Balance Minimus. I actually got these as a birthday present for myself. Um, initially, when I first got them, I didn't like them. Um, and that was because I was coming from the old New Balance Minimus. I think it's the MX-20 model. Uh, a lot of fitness people have them, a lot of kettlebell guys. Um, they're the black ones with the red bottom. And the reason I didn't, the only thing I didn't like about those was that red bottom. Like, it just looked kind of weird. Even though it was a cool shoe. Like On I the MX-20? Yeah, on the MX-20. So when I saw that I could get these in like all black and gold, I was like, yeah, I have to get those. And out of the box, they, because I have very flat feet. Um, so I, I, I forgot my exercise fizz, but you have like the people's feet who do this kind of thing. So they slant inwards and then the people who slant out and the way the shoe was, it felt like I was walking on, like I was, what is that? An over pronator. Uh, that question is not on the NSCA exam <laughs> for you aspiring personal trainers. But yeah, I felt, I always felt like I was walking on the outsides of my feet. And actually, since it's so hot out here in Arizona, I just broke these shoes in, like walking around out here and driving. Um, so now they have molded to my feet. I actually love them now. Um, and that was one of the things I liked about the old MX-20s was it didn't take as long uh, to break them in. And they had a little bit more uh, cushion, even though they were kind of a zero lift shoe, uh, the very thin sole. Yeah, the zero drop. Yeah, I actually, I have another pair of um, minimus shoe, minimal shoes or in, from the Minimus line that have the Vibram, like Vibram made the, the, the sole. sole. Yeah, yeah, but they're like neon green. So it's like you can't really wear them anywhere. <laughs> well, I think that's what I like. One of those yeah. things when I, when I noticed that they were the minimal shoes mm -hmm. is uh, you really have to look at them a bit closely to notice that they're not like a conventional shoe. Yeah. That was one of the things that I liked about these Zems was that you can kind of fake it a little bit more with these ones mm -hmm. and tell people notice that they're the split toe yeah. and then they're like, you know, like, what the heck? Yeah. But with those, they really look like a conventional se sneaker until you look at them real closely, you can see that they're a zero drop. So, you know, if you are somewhere that, you know, if you're going to be somewhere that you need to kind of like look semi-professional or, or yeah. conventional if we, for lack of a better term those are probably a good shoe to go with yeah. all right so where did you get these ones i actually got these from um, the new balance website uh, they were running a deal so i shop around but you know sometimes you just have to go uh, to the website amazon a lot of times will have good deals on new balance shoes right and uh i don't know i've kind of become more and more loyal uh, to new balance because uh, I'm really looking for like a Tai Chi shoe. Right. I said that right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I got tongue tied. Um, in the, uh, you know, the slip on Tai Chi right. shoes. Like the slippers. Uh, yeah. They, well, the, there's the leather ones right. that people wear. They look kind of fruity and you can't, no offense to anyone who might be fruity. <laughs> but um, you can't wear them places and then they, they really don't have any stability. You know, right. if I want to pick up a kettlebell or, you know, do box jumps, which I'm probably not going to do. But in the event right. that I want to. They come off easy. Like, I've known yeah. people that were wearing them, like, when we were doing, like, like push hands and yeah. sticky hand stuff. And those they're always flying off. Yeah. 
They don't uh, they don't stay on like a regular yeah. shoe. So yeah, those are not a good choice. No. Uh, do you remember how much you paid for those ones? At the time, I got these for a hundred. All right, let's do this real quick. Let's try. Let's compare. Let's do a flex test on two planes. All right. All right. So with a with a good minimal shoe, first test is you should be able to basically fold it completely in half, and across the like the horizontal axis. So check. And the next, oh, those are those are Vibram soles too. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> then. We could try in the uh, like across the the, the Z axis. Right. Yeah, oh, those, yeah, those fold up good. Yeah. So that means make a sandwich. Yeah, those will flex pretty good. And then how about like across the top of the foot? The one thing that I don't like about these is that a lot of times, uh, especially when they're new, uh -huh. like this, this will pinch across the top of the the arch of my foot a little bit. Do you have any problems with that one? Those ones? No, I haven't haven't it's pretty uh spongy okay so how do they breathe they yeah my feet don't get hot in them at all um my feet don't really sweat of course uh, i haven't gone through like a strenuous workout in them yet so that could change but uh one thing i do like about these and my other two uh minimus shoes is i can tell they put a lot more time into these i think these were like kind of designed for like cross training crossfit style uh, workout specific more so than the uh, other ones that I have is just they take so much longer to break in and I guess that's why is you know they, how long have you had those ones now these I got them in August but I didn't wear them much until I just really started wearing them this, this, this last weekend. month yeah all right so that's it for this week's off the mats if this is your first time here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to check out some of my other videos in my off the mat series go ahead and click the eye up there i'll also put a link to uh, prince's youtube channels in the eye as well thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time